What's up everyone, it's Bucky and welcome to your 7th Python tutorial. In the last tutorial I talked to you guys about strings. Now that you guys have a basic understanding of strings, I can uh, talk a little bit deeper on how strings are more useful and this is actually a more helpful tutorial. Now um, in the last couple tutorials I showed you guys um, if you printed out a string just like this then it gave you a return value in single quotes but if you printed it out like this use the print statement and put something like that it wouldn't give you single quotes around it and this is because when it outputs it what Python does is convert your code to strings but it does it in two different ways now just take note of that for now and I'm gonna show you guys um, how to convert to strings and actually why it's useful in some applications or probably the most useful function of why this is even important at all is because a lot of the times you're gonna want to treat a number as a string so say you have a variable called num and it's equal to 18 so go ahead and uh, set that variable equal to 18 and now you can do math with it like num plus 16 equals 34 but if you want to use it in a string like print and then put Bucky is whatever we can just leave that typos they're fun Bucky is and then we tried to add the number 18 to a string look what we get so we can't concatenate a string and add it with a number even though we want to output the sentence Bucky is 18 so instead of doing that we need to find a way to change that number into a string because now what Python is doing is saying alright we have some letters and we want to add a number to it how the F do you add a number to letters that's not math that's not English that's not nothing so now we have to find a way to convert that 18 into a string so what we would do is put num and then we set this equal to not 18 but str and inside that put 18 and what this does is say alright whatever we put for the number variable take the string 18 not the number 18 now press enter now instead of the value 18 is a number it sees it as a string or just characters that I can output on a screen now if we try print and Bucky is I'll spell it right this time and then write num like that we get Bucky is 18 so that's how you can convert a number to a string so you can use it to like um, output stuff to a user and it doesn't give you a bunch of error messages um, another thing that you can do is say you have something like um, let's make another variable num2 move my cursor out of the way num2 equals actually let's get like 32 or something another thing that we can do that's real quick and that doesn't really use a function that you have to type out is use something called backticks now backticks are against our long hold on let me gather my thoughts they're above that little tab key and beside the one on your keyboard um, it's below the little squiggly line it's below this thing and let me show you guys how you guys can convert values or anything to a string using back tips back tits back ticks all right here we go let's say we got 32 stored in num2 so anytime we try to concatenate that to a string it's gonna give us an error message so let's go ahead and print my mom is add uh, num2 now this would give you an error message right here so since this is a number and this is a string so how can we convert this to a string without using the string function all you'd have to do is put back ticks around it just like that now once you press enter bam so again back ticks and the string function are two different ways where you can convert anything to a string and again this is useful because if you don't it's going to try to treat this as a number and this is a bunch of letters and it's going to try to treat this as a math operator and you can't add numbers to letters it just doesn't make sense and one last one I want to talk to you guys about this REPR function this um, it's a little different than the string function 
but for now I'm gonna just tell you guys that it does the same thing that is anytime you use the string you can use this one right here and it does the same thing so again string repr and backticks are three different ways where you can convert crap to strings using Python so that's your quick tutorial um, this is gonna help you understand the next section so pay attention to this play around with it a little bit and I'll see you guys next time make sure to subscribe see you